So one of my goals this year is to be more active on social media. I would like to reconnect and rebuild some of the relationships of the, of the great people that I've met um, in my life. Um, I've been enjoying my journey and uh, this actually allows me to document my experiences. You know how it goes where you go on Facebook or you go on, um, you know, Facebook reminds you of what you did one year ago or what you did four years ago, right? And you go back and you say, wow, yeah, I remember that, right? So this is actually a, a way for me to document my experience. The other thing is in doing these videos, um, I have found that it has actually been a very great, both uh, uh, personal development. Um, a lot of times when you video yourself, it's able to give yourself a mirror um, of the way that you sound, the way you talk, um, how you appear to others. And it's actually been a really good personal growth that I didn't actually know about. I've been filming myself for about a month now in, in some practice um, towards this. And of course, uh, where I have come from is less important to where I'll go. Um, and so that's what I'm looking to do. And I would like to be able to at least start putting on some more videos for you to watch and to follow. And right now I'm currently doing zero. <laughs> zero is not a good number. Um, and what happened was I was never putting on a video because it wasn't perfect. And I think that that has actually um, uh, delayed me to do this of because I wanna put out like a perfect video or good content or um, and no, not mispronounce my words or say um too many times or scenarios come to me in my mind and uh, they just pop in my mind and then and that's when I just say them, right? And so with that, it's been able to give me a really good self-reflection. So what I would like to do is, um, is start uploading some videos and uh, for you guys to um, uh, come on and take a look at them and be able to ask questions, um, see what's going on. Maybe you'll learn something. Maybe you'll start doing it. And, um, and experience the self-reflection or the personal development that it does for yourself. So uh, with that, here's the video. So here we are, right now, right here, and nowhere else. I believe this is the best place to be, 8804 West Victoria Avenue. Why is it the best place to be? because I can't be anywhere else. So I make it the best place to be. Love this piece of land. I know it looks like sagebrush and trash. Very undeveloped. That's about to change. So I wanna bring you guys along and have you look at it and you guys keep staring. Okay, so this just printed today. Here we have, says, painting company owner to build new commercial building in Kenwick. Jason Zook, the owner of Smile Mall Painting of Kenwick, will be moving his growing business into a $1.2 million building at 8804 West Victoria. So that's right here. It's pretty amazing to think back on when I moved here to Tri-Cities and how excited I was to drive down the 395, drive down Gage Boulevard, and drive down Clearwater. It didn't take long to notice that the 395, Clearwater, and Gage, busiest streets, in my opinion, in the Tri-Cities. So as I started out, bought one van, painted one house, one brush, and one roller, and one paint sprayer, I imagined that I could only get to so many people. And I realized that all of a sudden, I couldn't do everything myself. And that's when I started hiring people and finding extreme good talent and skilled people. And since then, I've put together a great team I remember when I come into one car garage that I started out in, freshly married. I refer to it as the love shack because that's what it was. Out of that one car garage, stack up the paint, go out and paint a job, get a happy customer, move on to the next, right? And then I got a shipping container. I got a shipping container and an office. Put all my pumps and tools in the shipping container in a parking lot. From there, moved over to Clearwater behind affordable detailing. And that, we were there for almost two years. And then we had to move out because it was so tight. We didn't have enough room. We had to move. We packed up and in 17 days, we landed on uh, behind the Sterling's restaurant off of Clearwater. And from there, we have just, we're still, we've got four offices that just keep going and going and going and, and more space, more space. We rented another additional unit across the parking lot. That was a very much of a need. Every time we've moved, it was because we needed more space. I'm like a goldfish. The bigger my tank, the bigger I get, right? So this is a little bit bigger tank and hopefully this is home. What I'm excited about is giving Google our pin, right? Give them the name. 
Smile a mile painting, boom, put a pin, 8804 West Victoria Avenue, and pin this spot as the location. And we'll make it the best location. I, I purchased this land here a year and a half ago, and my whole vision and my dream was to create a building and a shop. So what I'm planning to do here is build a shop for my employees and my customers, a place that we can come, and I'm gonna try to paint a picture for you so you guys can imagine this and see it with me. This is the plan for this building. I've been working a lot with James Wade. One of the things I like doing is surrounding myself with busy people. James Wade, very busy. The other people that I surround myself with on this project has been Adam Hall, uh, Steve Varner, Jim Money, Gary Hall, the city of Kenwick, all of which are very busy people. And the reason I like busy people is because they're getting something done. This is the building. The building is 240 feet long and then uh, it is 56 feet wide. So the total square footage is 13,200 and the spot that I'm gonna occupy is about 33, a little over 3,300 square feet. Worked with Gary Hall, he got this approved at the city of Kenwick, the PUD, there's a lot of public work. The KID, they have an easement going through here. PUD has an easement going through here. The water, the sewer, there's a railroad, that's actually railroad land. Um, that's why that says Union Pacific Railroad. I had to work with them on getting my sewer line tapped in back there. So I got sewer in the back and then water service in the front. So here's the building with the elevations. You can see the front elevations. Here's floor plan. Another elevation shot shows awnings and the glass storefront. It's gonna be a metal pre-constructed building. Here's another good shot of the rendering of the front. When I come in here, I look at this and say, what can we create, what can we build, right? I imagine this just to be a smooth, black, brand new asphalt, white stripes, and lots of cars. I can't believe how much trash there is. A roof line, boom. A steel building to be planted and built right here. So this is where I'm planning to build my shop. I think every guy needs a shop. And the reason is because in shops, things get done. 